I'm in Tasco, Mexico, the Silver City, and one of Mexico's Pueblos Magicos. There are a few cooler towns in the world where a backpacker can buy beautiful things to take home and sell. Tasco fits, and I've done that there with silver jewelry. So let's take a look Somebody at this died. beautiful city. First, we'll fly from Puerto Escondido. I'm flying Viva Aerobus, a budget airline that offers amazing deals on flights within Mexico. They won't show up in travel site searches though. Oh, we got hit with all kinds of mist here. A mist That's that cool. you'll see I forgot to clean off my camera. I'm staying at the Casa Grande Hotel that sits near the heart of Tasco and is handy to dozens of silver shops. I'm up on the roof of the Casa Grande Hotel, looking down at the Plazuela San Juan. They got pictures from, oh, 80 years ago of people taking water from this fountain. And we look way, way up. Tasco. It's a giant there. Casa Grande Hotel in the stairwell. This place is 300 years old. You can probably tell. They uh, make very short passages. Paving stones. I'll go out and have some brekkie. Gracias. If anything's going to tell you how old this place is, look at these stairs. They are old. 300 years of people coming and going. Let's go down to the uh, place where you can eat in Tasco. This is uh, down, down, downtown. You gotta remember the turns in here because it's like a warren. We're gonna go this way. something to watch here. As people set up their little shops, see them? Check it out. Avocados. She's spraying the fruit. Down we go. As a doctor, you can consult them for 40 pesos, which is $2.80. Aren't they friendly? I'm going to have breakfast at this place. Hola. <laughs> Fixed here, here. And of course, there's dogs. But eat. You know, it's mango season when you see two kilos for 25. I was getting them for one kilo for 30. Down, down, ever down in Pasco. Always down. And of course, up. So, this video is not in reverse. This truck is backing down this narrow road. There are many churches in Tasco, and the faithful and the devout come to rest within their favorite for a moment or a lifetime. Really comes alive here in the uh, evening, but there's sure a lot of birds now. Welcome to Tasco. This handsome fella is Don Jose de la Boarda. He owns this big, massive building right here. 
There's his. There's his info. Police bike. This over here is the Casa Borda. Things have been here for hundreds of years. Looks like the pigeon is selling masks. This is a silver street. There's all kinds of jewelry stores on this street. Wholesale, retail. If you want it, you can get it here. Including all the jewelry supplies for cleaning, manufacturing, everything. I've spent many a happy hour wandering these streets buying jewelry for when I had a little silver business. Let's take Warrior playing a ball game. Green cattle. Looks like a little monument to women who have suffered a little bit bloody, must say. But probably apropos. These are the Animus, Flagellanti, and Encruzado Penitientes, or Repenters, who appear in the center of great processions during Holy Week. They're always hooded in public and always anonymous. I don't use a guidebook when I walk. So sometimes the only way to see something is to spot its spire and go find it. It's a delight when you come upon an oasis of tranquility and it's all yours. Discovered wandering Tasco's old cobblestone streets. This is the Iglesia Chavarrieta. The Iglesia Santa Prisca de Tasco was built between 1751 and 1758 by Don Jose de la Borda. The magnificent cathedral was built on the riches of silver pouring from mines directly beneath Tasco's streets. There's fish in here. It's just a little hole in the wall. Literally. Ooh, there's a big one there. Is he real? It's the Santro Ho area.
lo sabe, porque aquí encontrarás plata, oro, plata rosada, arras, for a bracelet for somebody. Found lots of them. We're waiting for tomorrow when we have the really big um, market on Saturday when the whole city turns into a silver market. It's kind of fun. I'll show it to you tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm taking a rest. strange sight. It's Saturday in Tusco and there's no cars on this road. Santa Ana Santa, there are no cars on these roads. So it's very, it's tranquil. Where I'm going today is to the Saturday Silver Market. The whole countryside comes to Tusco and uh, sets up and sells their silver. And there's copper and uh, brass jewelry. It's quite a sight and I come here uh, many times in the past and bought a lot of really nice silver which I uh, would then take home to Canada and sell and make my living as a nomad and uh, continue that kind of life. So we'll go down and see this place. It's a walk down memory lane for me, that's for sure. And uh, it's quite exciting. There's a fella selling his wares here. See? Pretty stuff, eh? Hecho a manual? See, para ti. See? Muy bien. This to be him. See? No. Of course, it's all about making jewelry here. This is the stuff that they use crystals. Look at the colors. are in the beginning of this thing. Uh, this is a place that's uh, several stories high and uh, we'll see what we can see. I just found that so I'm going to see if I can return to it. Well, I couldn't find the lady that I uh, was trying to track down to give her back her um, hair piece. It's absolutely fantastic. Tons and tons of it. I guess they're just opening right now. So it's a good time to be down here. Look at these earrings. Check it out. Rings. Most of this jewelry is made by these people. Oh, I used to have fun coming here. And we come downstairs and there's even more. Inside this building and many others like it, and spilling outside onto the streets. There's silver for anyone's desire. The prices are good, 
and the people are ready to deal. Thanks for watching. You'll see me here again in Pasco in the next video as I look for the place I wrote about in my novel, Tripping into Mexico, where Mexicans held a German and his silver machines prisoner, hostage too to the love of his daughter. Stay tuned and bye bye. And if you'd like to help with these productions, check out my Patreon page.